This local sports report is brought to you by BFD Rona, a proud supporter of the Waterloo Siskins. BFD is home to Kitchener Waterloo's largest fence and deck showroom. BFD is also KW's only Rona store with a complete line of lumber, hardware, and building supplies. Whether you are a do-it-yourselfer or want a professional installed deck or fence, visit BFD Rona at Forwell Road and Victoria Street North in Kitchener or email experts at bfdrona.com. We continue our 519 flashbacks today, reflecting on the Waterloo Siskins Sutherland Cup Championship run of 2019. And what a remarkable season it was. So many great players, from Brett Schaefer to Sam Cherry to Winston Sesnick to the banana man himself, Curtis Ron. But it was all led by a 16-year-old goaltender, Matt Anuska, a Waterloo Wolves minor midget graduate who simply put, put the team on his back. Anuska outstanding through the entire playoff run in series wins over Cambridge, Stratford, and then Listowel in the Cherry Cup Championship Series. After that, it was a date with the Niagara Falls Canucks where the Siskins prevailed in six games. And next up, the London Nationals, a talented and gritty team with experience who's been there before. It turned into a seven-game series with an extremely dramatic finish, an overtime winning goal in Game 7. Let's look back on the Sutherland Cup Championship Series between the Waterloo Siskins and the London Nationals. Game one in the Sutherland Cup Championship Series. The Waterloo Siskins playing in the final for the first time since 1994. The London Nationals making their third appearance in the last four years. Alex Lysette grabs the puck at the blue line and he opens the scoring going blocker side on Zach Springer. Sam Cherry down the far side. He circles the net and sets up Owen Lane. The Siskins up by a pair and that was the start of a huge night for Lane 2 nothing Waterloo after one early in the second here comes London Noah took fires from the point Josh Castle stuffs it home at the side of the net Sam Cherry once again setting up Owen Lane he buries his second goal of the night Lane restoring the two goal lead behind everyone he's got a breakaway and he's got a hat trick. What a night for Owen Lane. He gives the Siskins a 4-1 lead. Benton Hayes is stopped. Sam Cherry pounces on the rebound and puts it in. That's his 12th goal of the playoffs. It's 5-1 Waterloo after two. Early in the third, Benton Hayes with a steal behind the net and he extends the lead. Alex Lysette with his second of the night on this play. Waterloo wins big by a final score of 9-4 and they take a 1-0 series lead. We're non-stop like uh, hitting bodies, getting deep, getting to the net. We're doing all the right things right now. So if we can continue that, I think we're uh, on the right page. A lot of effort. Everyone was giving 100% out there and and when we all came together, it was it was the right uh, combination for success. I think uh, everything was just clicking. I think uh, Laner Cherry played a great game. Hazy also a great game. Uh, I think overall, you know, everything was just we were getting all the bounces, working hard, and things were just going our way. Justin Zuber and the Waterloo Siskins coming off a convincing win in game one of the Sutherland Cup Championship Series. Waterloo took the series opener 9-4 over London and they were shooting for a 2-0 series lead. Later, Siskins goalie Matt Anuska with the puck behind the net and he is tripped up by Cohen Kitely. That gives Waterloo a two-man advantage for one minute and 43 seconds seconds as Kitely heads off to the penalty box. The Siskins looking to capitalize. Alex Lysette with a great chance in front, stopped by Zach Springer. George Diaco in the middle, one-timer scores. Diaco's ninth goal of the playoffs makes it 2-0 London after one. Early in the second, Winston Sesnick centers and it bounces to Brett Schaefer. Waterloo is on the board. Matthew Pruka from the top of the circle scores the equalizer. London's two-goal lead is gone. We are knotted at two. 
Midway through the frame, back come the Nationals. Kyle Dawson in front with the redirect. Big goal from the Nationals captain. London looking for more. George Diaco to Cal Davis. Matanuska pad save. Alex Chimino with a lead pass for Owen Lane. He's got a break and he's got a goal. Lane now has four goals in this series. He ties the game at three. Late in regulation, watch number 12. That's Matthew Pruka. He is called for cross-checking behind the net. So London to the power play with 2.13 left on the clock. And the Nationals convert with the man advantage. Cal Davis buries it, giving London the lead with a buck 55 to go. The Nationals are on top. It's 4-3. The Siskins now with an empty net. Austin Jeffers is called for holding. With 47 seconds left on the clock, Waterloo with a six on four advantage. This is Jeff Schratner on the far side, looking for a shooting lane, top of the circle, Schratner scores. The Siskins tie the game with 16.2 seconds left in regulation. What a wild game two. It's four all and we need overtime. Early in the extra frame, Jeff Schratner over to Sam Spate, game winner. Spate is the hero, scoring 104 into overtime, and the Siskins storm off the bench to celebrate. They come from behind and win it by a final score of 5-4. It ranks up there for sure, uh, along with my game six OT winner last year against Kitsch, but that one uh, took a little bit more hand-eye than the last one, so that one, um, is definitely probably my favorite and best one uh, so far in my junior career. In my mind, I saw that uh, there was an opening down the middle, and uh, Lysette actually, before that period started, he told me, when you make a pass, just drive the net as hard as you possibly can. That's what I did. Uh, Shratner thankfully saw me, gave me an okay pass. Thankfully, I got it, and uh, I just kind of threw it um, across my body, hoping it would go in, and barely went in and hit the post. And, uh, I'm just happy we got it done early. This is what we've been setting out since day one, and, and to have that and to be up to is like, you can't even put it into words right now. We're, the emotions and the adrenaline and the, and the feelings in that dressing room right now are, they're emotional, they're high, they're, they're, there just isn't words. We're on cloud nine right now, and I just hope that we can keep it going. Game three in the Sutherland Cup Championship Series. The Waterloo Siskins on the road shooting for a 3-0 series lead. The London Nationals in desperate need of a victory after dropping the first two games in the series. Matanuska stops George Diaco, then he denies West Dobbin on the rebound. Two solid saves there from the Siskins netminder. But moments later, Noah Took opens the scoring with a point shot beating Anuska. London striking first. Griffin Sinden down the near wing over to Winston Sesnick and going down, he puts it home. Another great goal from Sesnick in these playoffs. The puck comes out to Noah Took and he scores his second goal of the night. London is back on top and 36 seconds after that, George Diaco from his stomach to West Dobbin and he scores. Two quick goals by the Nationals. This is Curtis Ron breaking in and the rebound goes to Sam Spade, the OT hero in game two, bringing Waterloo back within one. It's 3-2 as we move to the third. Adam Keyes taking it to the net, loose puck. Zach Sheedy pokes it home. Sheedy restoring the two goal London lead and just over a minute later, George Diaco sweet feed to Kyle Dawson and he does the rest. Dawson scoring on the backhand, making it 5-2 Nationals. And some huge hits. They win it by a final score of 6-2 on Wednesday night. Waterloo now leads the series two games to one.
Game four in the Sutherland Cup Championship Series. The Waterloo Siskins trying to bounce back after dropping game three on the road in London. Meanwhile, the Nationals coming off a big win, looking to even the series at two games apiece. Back to Matthew Pruka and his shot into traffic beats Springer. Waterloo striking first. They take a one nothing lead, but the Nationals answer. 16 seconds later, Christian Palillo bangs in the rebound. Palillo with his second goal of the series. It's a break for Cal Davis, but Matanuska slams the door. George Diaco gives London the lead. Diaco scoring his 10th goal of the playoffs, giving the Nationals a 2-1 advantage, and they keep coming. Adam Keyes in the slot lets one go. Wes Dobbin buries the rebound. Dobbin putting London up by a pair, it's 3-1. Third period, now Matthew Pruka centers. Brett Schaefer with a chance, but he's denied by Springer. The Nationals take it by a final score of 3-1 to even the series at two games apiece. Game five in the Sutherland Cup Championship Series. The Waterloo Siskins and London Nationals tied at two games apiece and down to a best of three. He circles the net, loose puck. Jeff Schratner taps it home. That's his 10th goal of the playoffs. Waterloo is up one nothing. Back come the Nationals. James Turner fires. Christian Polillo buries the rebound. What a goal by Kyle Dawson. He cuts in, goes backhand, and beats Matanuska. The Nationals captain giving his team the lead. It's 2-1 London after one. Sam Spate along the near boards, and he spots Alec Tiley. Tie game. The Siskins defenseman buries it. We are tied at two. London looking to answer. Polillo flips it ahead and there is James Turner. It's a breakaway. It's a goal. Turner's 16th of the playoffs makes it 3-2 Nationals. Jeff Schratner centers. Tyler Dam the tip in front. Dam jumping into the rush. We are knotted at Three. A few minutes later, Sam Cherry with the puck. He fires Christian Taylor with the redirect. Massive goal from Taylor. Sam Spate seals it, scoring into the empty net. And the Siskins are one win away from a Sutherland Cup title. They take game five by a final score of 5-3 on Saturday night. Game six in the Sutherland Cup Championship Series. The Waterloo Siskins hitting the ice with a 3-2 series lead, looking to bring home the title for the first time since 1994. The London Nationals hoping to get it done on the road and force a winner-take-all game seven. Noah Took starting at his own blue line. He speeds in and opens the scoring. What a start for London. They strike 61 seconds into the game. Justin Zuber's stick shatters, and that gives Max Vinogradov a break, and he scores. London takes a 2-0 lead on Vinogradov's eighth goal of the playoffs. Second period, now Alex Lysette on the far side to Alec Tiley in the slot. Zach Springer gets a piece. James Turner coming down the near side. He fires and beats Matanuska. Turner extending the Nationals' lead 
three minutes into the second, it's 3-0 London. The Siskins looking to answer. This is Jeff Shratner breaking in, and he buries it. Shratner getting the Siskins on the board. Max Vinogradov at the point, and he spots George Diaco in front. Great pass, nice finish. That's a power play goal. Third period, now the puck bounces to Cal Davis in front, over to Christian Polillo, and the Nationals are pulling away. That goal making it 5-1 London, and this series is going the distance. We need seven in the Sutherland Cup final. London takes it by a final score of 5-1 on Sunday afternoon. One game for all the glory. The Waterloo Siskins and London Nationals playing a seventh and deciding game in the Sutherland Cup Championship Series on Wednesday night. Nationals on the power play. Noah Took fires from the point. Cal Davis, the redirect in front. London striking first. Brett Schaefer with the puck on the far side. He centers. Curtis Ron scores. The heart and soul of the Siskins ties the game with six seconds left in the period we are tied at one after 40 minutes just 10 seconds into the third Cal Davis puts the Nationals back on top he slides it home for his second goal of the night he takes the return pass and what a play by Kyle Dawson he blocks the shot and clears it out the London captain sacrificing his body but moments Months later, Shratner coming in, dances by the defenders, and he sets up Sam Spate tie game. The Siskins convert on the power play, and look at the bench. They are jumping on each other. It's two all, and we need overtime in game seven. The Nationals pressing. Josh Wright with a point shot. It goes to George Diaco. Anuska the save, and Alec Tiley gets a piece diving across. Overtime continues, and a few minutes later, one of the biggest moments in franchise history for the Siskins. Alec Tiley, the overtime hero. His shot goes off a stick in front and sends the Siskins into seventh heaven. What a game, what a series. The Siskins take it by a final score of 3-2, and they are Sutherland Cup champions for the first time since 1994 and for the 12th time in franchise history. Matt Anuska, the 16-year-old sensation, named the most valuable player Player in the GOJHL playoffs, he was absolutely brilliant between the pipes for Waterloo. Then it was time for the presentation of the Sutherland Cup. Alex Chimino hoisting the trophy and mobbed by his teammates, and he passes it to Sam Cherry, who couldn't play in Game 7 because of a suspension. Cherry, 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 Cherry. Yes, they were chanting his name. Hey, Sam, you've got a Cherry and a Southey. Congratulations to the Siskins. Our post-game comments begin with Alec Tiley, the OT hero in Game 7. I don't even know. It just happened so fast. I threw it on net. Next thing you know, I'm throwing my bucket off. So it's unbelievable. It was a team effort. I mean, it really was. If, you know, weren't for the rest of these guys scoring goals, you know, they picked me up all season long. Uh, you know, up and downs of a rookie season in junior hockey, it's, it's not easy. And, you know, to come in here as a 16-year-old and have some of the relationships I do with the 20-year-old guys, it's really unbelievable and it's, it's awesome. Just the ups and downs this team's went through all year. We've worked too hard. We've come too far to not get here. And honestly, I can't even put into words this feeling. This is, it's like waking up on Christmas every goddamn morning for the rest of your life. It's the best feeling in the world, and I honestly wouldn't trade this for anything. I love these boys. 
I love this team. I love the coaching staff. I love everything about this team. And honestly, best last year and a half I've ever had. And I wouldn't trade it for anything, honestly. It means everything, you know. I didn't get to play, but I had complete confidence in the fellas. I knew they were going to pull through. Great group of guys. It's incredible. And I mean, that 25-year thing, we've been talking about it all playoffs. You see the, uh, the last championship, 94-95, I think, up on the wall in the room. And you want to be the next one up there. Um, yeah, my heart was in my throat that, that whole third period, that whole overtime. Uh, lots of emotions when you come out in the third period and they score one quick to go up. So i uh, really proud of everyone to battle, about, battle back there. Unbelievable group for sure. I, I'm so excited. The, my emotions right now are scattered. They're, they're so happy. Um, when I saw it go in, I was so shocked that it went in even. Um, I'm losing my voice right now because I'm yelling constantly. But... Uh, Super happy to be with this group and win a Southern Cup. I'm a little bit lost for words. I mean, I'm so happy for all these guys. The effort we put in the playoffs, it was a grind, man, let me tell you. But uh, we've been going for this the entire year. And I mean, overtime game seven, like you can't ask for anything better than that. So just pulling these group of guys together. We talked about it on that Friday night in Les Tawar, game one, and I told these guys, we have a special team here. We've got an opportunity to do something real special this year. And again, going into overtime there after the third period, I reiterated that to the boys, and that's exactly what we did. Don't lose belief, and as you can see the signs along the thing there, that's something that we talked about right from day one. Just continue to believe that we're going to do what we set out to do, and tonight we did that. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.